Most people in America are not familiar with the aspects of religion or the aspects of faith that could keep them safe in a time of COVID or in any way. People are so busy being selfish, people are so busy trying to be gods in their life that they aren't thinking about what God might say. When they die and go face heaven, they're pretty surprised to end up in hell today because they thought their life was their life and ashes to ashes and dust to dust and that's it for us. But it's not in any way. And all the history and all the archaeology and all the sociology and all the anthropology is totally ignored today by undereducated, dumb fucking people who don't get the Lord today. Now as a pagan, I don't have to be polite. As a minister, I don't have to be right. Because when I do these sermons, who knows how many people are watching because this is social media channels. We do have social media companies that are abusing our rights. And we do need a president and a vice president who will go off and fight for our rights. The last year was a rights election. And people seem to forget about civil rights because they're still living in the concept of entitlement of rights. Did you earn your rights with someone? Did you earn trust with someone? Did you earn your will today? In other words, did you get the girl of your dreams today? Did you win that guy who's super perfect for you today? Or did you just think you'd go out and get laid and it'd be okay with God? You see, you poisoned yourself when you didn't plan your life with the Lord. And I can say I have a pendulum problem, but I don't. Someone else could claim I have a pendulum problem, but I don't. And someone else could try to tell me what to do with my life, but I won't do what they ask me to. Because you don't have a right to enslave me, do you? So I'm asking you people who are listening to me, who I didn't give this video channel to, who gave you my video channel? In the course of a year and a half, I've only given this channel to two possibly four people. So how is it that you have access to my video channel? How is it that you have access to hacking my abilities? Where is my property? And why do I have to keep asking a fucking sibling, where the fuck is my computer that's mine? In life, as in death, we are responsible for every lie we've ever told. But what is the lie and what is truth, that's really interesting and can be bold. I don't have a pendulum problem. I don't have a faith problem. I practice my faith devoutly and it's a thing that saves me and my rage every day. Because there's a rage in me that you can't possibly understand. Because I guarantee you've never had a love like me as a man. The love I have in me for someone is beyond control. The love I have in me is what the Lord put within me for that special someone. And the love that is raging in me is that every fucking person around my life invaded my right to say I love you to someone. And when they did that, they destroyed their relationship with me. And when strangers interfered with me, they ruined their life before the Lord. But I am ragingly angry that some man is married to the woman that God tells me every fucking day is for me.